Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be doing more of the Harry Potter art book here. And um, we're pretty close to the end. Um, you can see that we're doing this sort of gold leaf border area at the moment. And uh, we're getting there. I would say we're, we're definitely over halfway. You can't see the bottom of the page, but we're... Obviously, we still need to do this part. We've done the main uh, scene of the picture. So I'm going to collect these two colors that we need. These are the only two colors we need right now. And we're going to get into it. So let's get it going. What we do need to do is flip this book over though, because the this side, we don't want the our hand to smudge the actual picture. So we're going to have it like this. And I wanted to mess with something actually before we flip it over. I wanted to mess around with an idea this area on the macro scale looks a little bit uh, plain. I want to see if we can do something here. Maybe just shade it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It doesn't really make that much difference from far away. Something like that. Let's see if we can do anything like this. just to add some kind of complexity to this so it doesn't look so sparse in these areas. like that.
Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to flip this and we're going to get the rest of the border in here. Cool. And we're going to try not to let this camera fall off the table like it just did. Man, it's really hard to actually get in here. What's a good way that I can get into this area? Maybe like this. Seems good. Welcome Goonie to the stream. We're doing the Harry Potter art book. I have the page flipped upside down right now to uh, get some of this border stuff in. Welcome Goonie to the show and thank you for the cheer. Let's get a cheer message in here. Let's get a random wiki in here. We got Serena. Sally Ephraim Rondo Elastic Nick Arnold. Serena, acronym, is a character from Dragon Quest who likes to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. She has Nick in her name because she's secretly in love with Nick and watches him through the screen of Dragon Quest XI. Okay. Um, here we go. I am Serena. I have uh, recently fallen into the ocean and have grown gills. So now I am pot mermaid, pot lady, pot robot. Did I mention I'm a robot? I can't eat my peanut butter jelly sandwiches down here anymore, but I've discovered a new thing that I like, which is algae. I eat algae with um, electric eel uh, current running through it so that it really makes it spicy. It's very uh, nutritious. <laughs> That's Serena. Thank you to the Goonie for the cheer. Much appreciated. Let's get a marker in here for Serena. Here we go.
Gumi wants a PB and J sandwich for breakfast. Nice. Go for it. Nobody can tell you what to do. All right, so now with this gold in here, saying how's the trip going that's going fine I ended up uh, completing my gauntlet of twitch streams if you check the Instagram story there's a whole bunch of uh, <coughs> like the quest of, of what how that was going I was trying to get all my streams from from yesterday done before I went to the airport in the morning and so I was staying up and I had already stayed up in order to uh, get a bunch of other streams done the other day and I was awake for 48 straight hours and I did nine streams in that span but I got it done
Hold on one second. All right, so we're about 75% on this page. Once we get this other quarter, then we uh, move on to the next one. I mean, this is it. This is the end of the, uh, of the page that we're doing. All right, hold on. I want to get this final little bit in here.
Good. Okay. Now, maybe I can do this from this angle. If I put a piece of paper over the page. It's definitely a lot easier to do it like this. Hold on. So yeah, we're going for this kind of shaded, shaded from the outside look, which hopefully makes it a little bit more dynamic than the normal look if we had just, uh, you know, colored it like a single tone. I think it works.
Okay, cool. So now we go back through with this gold. We're really getting there. What am I going to do once this is, once this is uh, done? It's been so long. Goonie's saying, uh, I like the color grading inward like that. It looks like the sheen you'd have on gold foil or something. Yeah, that's what I'm going for is like a gold gold leaf kind of like fancy picture frame or something. I'm glad that it, that it turns out, you know, or that it gives that effect. It was kind of an accident. We were just messing with like different uh, shades and colors that we could use. And it... uh it ended up, you know, I, I used it on one little area on the inside of the Hogwarts logo here, like one little, little, you know, tiny piece of a leaf. And then I, uh, I thought that it looked weird just being one piece and the rest of it was gold. So I kind of like did this little shading thing where it like was dark and went outwards from the logo. And then I was like, wow, that's cool. We should do that on like, a bunch of other areas and it, it sort of just sprung out. It was a happy accident. Goonie's going to go get breakfast, catch on the flip side. See you later, Goonie. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for joining the show. And enjoy your breakfast. I'm going to get an exclamation mark by in here for the Goonie. See you later.
Welcome Frost to the stream. Looking great, thank you Frost. We're getting right near the end. We just need to do this up to the Hogwarts logo. And then, uh, then we have everything. Welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Frost Fairy. Hello. Good morning. There we go. This is moving. Shroomy One, welcome to the stream. We're doing this Harry Potter art book here. We're in uh, the final stages of the picture. We're doing this gold leaf uh, frame. Welcome Shroomy to the show. Frost saying, uh, I'm tired as heck at work. It was funny. As soon as I walked in the door, everyone stopped talking because I screamed at everyone yesterday. Aw. Yeah, well, sometimes it's got to be done. Shroomy's so tired too. It is a tired kind of morning. Sometimes, sometimes you have those. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, finally got some sleep. You know, for more than like an, an hour at a time. The, uh, 
the great sleepless <laughs> sleepless uh, saga is complete and I'm happy about that There's a bunch of details that I posted about it on the Instagram story of like what was involved in uh, in the last two days worth of uh, content and non-sleeping stuff. I'm pretty proud though. That's the most I've ever done on one like sort of uh, stint of being awake. I can't call it one day because I was awake for more than an entire day. But it was a uh, it was a forty eight hour stint without sleep. I had done nine individual streams before going to sleep, um, which was a t it totaled twenty twenty total hours of content, which, as I estimated, was about a th at least a thirty hour work day which is to say that the work day, just the amount of time in which I was working, not the time that I wasn't working, was longer than an actual Earth day, which I don't think I've ever done before. Uh, so that I was pretty proud of that. So now I want to get this dark, we want to really make it pop outside of the Hogwarts logo here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do to sort of like make it so it's not really, it doesn't blend the logo itself into this kind of lattice work or whatever you call it. I don't even know if we want it to blend in or it, maybe it should. I'm not really sure. She was saying, GG, thank you, Shermie. I, uh, I don't typically, I mean, I obviously only sleep for three hours a night, even when on a normal day, you know, that's like just how I sleep. But the, uh, the idea of, of going for that long and doing that many streams without sleeping is a new thing for me. <laughs> So yeah, I got on that plane and I was instantly asleep, which I was happy about. And then I got to sleep a little bit in the Uber. It's like an hour from the uh, airport to this place that I'm at. So it was uh, nice to get a little bit of sleep in there. And then I finally actually got sleep. It, I guess it goes to show what kind of person I am that after all that and sleeping for an hour in the Uber and two hours on the plane that I uh, did another stream last night just because I figured I'd rather get one out of the way, even though it wasn't today yet. I had already done my three streams yesterday, but I figured I should get another one done uh, last night just so I don't have to do three uh, from here because sometimes it gets a little hectic to try and do them. Um, you don't know what kind of variables are going to come up. The internet here is really good. It's like... Uh, it's like a um, hundred uh, megabits upload, which is pretty good. My uh, internet at home is not even a hundred megabits upload. Frost saying no sleep because you drink too much coffee. Well, I, I don't, it's not that I'm plagued by no sleep. I'm doing that I'm doing that to myself because I'd never be able to get enough work done if I didn't force myself not to sleep. I sleep I'm the best sleeper. I uh am an extremely heavy sleeper. I'll sleep for like 12 hours if if left unchecked. I actually had to download an app that will will not stop ringing even if you turn your phone off and you turn it back on, it'll never stop ringing for any reason 
unless you uh, go downstairs and scan a barcode. So I have to get out of my bed and scan a barcode. That's the only thing in, in 28 years that's actually gotten me to wake up from an alarm because otherwise my unconscious self is so trained to perfectly seek out the snooze button that I'll literally snooze every nine minutes for four hours. I'll Battlestar Galactica myself. Um, so anyway, yeah. <laughs> it is quite intentional that I am sleeping for three, three to four hours a night. It's actually the one thing that I've even, even, uh, it's like one of the major things that I, in my opinion, has allowed me to even have a Twitch channel is the fact that I forced myself to not sleep as much. Because when I was working nine to five, you know, it's so easy to get caught in a trap of like, oh, I come home and I'm tired and then I wake up and how could I possibly do something else while I'm home because I'm so tired from working? And at some point I just had to say like, you know, I'm never gonna get more time than I have, so I better, better carve out that time now. Should we say that sounds terrible? Yeah, I hated that. I hated that I, I couldn't get myself to, uh, to wake up. Shuri's saying, I'm dead today. It's taking all my energy to type this. How'll I get today done? I know, it's, uh, I certainly had those kind of days. When I, it, like yesterday, when I was trying to do the, the tail end of that 48 hours, 48 waking hours, I was like, one of the streams I was falling asleep on stream, and uh, I didn't actually do the fall asleep on stream thing where like, one time I was playing Dark Souls and I literally fell off an edge and you could see my eyes closed as I was running from like muscle memory through the area that I had, it was through the uh, undead berg and I knew so perfectly how to get to where I was going that I had like, I had like uh, <laughs> uh, navigated the whole thing and then fell down a hole right at the end of it. Uh, and I didn't do that, but I was getting pretty tired. Yeah, I like I literally consider that um, that alarm app to be the thing that like changed my entire life. I wrote that in a review on iTunes. I was like, this app literally changed my life. I can't point to like anything else that's changed my life as much as this app has. I I feel very lucky that I found it. That's how I woke up today too. I I scanned a book in this. Um, this room that's outside of my uh, the, the little bedroom area and uh, I had to get, get up and scan it in order to get up. Frosting can be good for you to sleep the way you do? Eh. I find that I'm, I mean, I've done it for about seven months now. So whatever hump there is or whatever like false, you know, kind of like thing, you know, like second wind type thing that you get from it, I'm pretty sure I'm done with. Um, and I find that I'm exactly as tired when I wake up on three hours of sleep as I am on eight hours of sleep. It's all just mental. It's all a mental thing. If you tell yourself that you're tired, then you're tired. If you tell yourself you can't afford to be tired, then you're not tired. <laughs> That's what I find, at least. That's why I never, like, I I try to make sure that I never complain about anything. Because if I give myself the satisfaction of complaining, then I'm going to think that it's worse than it is or whatever. And I'm going to, you know, be less efficient. Anyway, you guys don't want to hear about my weird motivational... Uh, <laughs> this weird motivational speech that I'm I'm doing here.
Wow, we're really close to the end on this. This is getting pretty close. So, everything here is complete. I do have this one little shading thing that I do. I, should, I guess we should get this done. Where we just kind of do like an overall little bit of shading going down. And then we, we kind of fill in these gaps with sort of like a little bit of contrast. And then we want to get the Hogwarts crest. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that though. Let's see. If I did it where, well, it could definitely be like a shaded thing from this part of the crest coming inwards. And we could certainly make this H kind of have like a bezeled, beveled, beveled look. I don't know what we're gonna do with the outside of the crest. I mean, we could just give that a shaded look as well. What if I did... Okay, let's go to... Give this a shot here. I would say that's probably pretty good. And then What if we did a red, sort of reddish gold on here? Frost saying, I'm looking out for you after all your family to meet. Oh. That's very nice for us. I, I appreciate that you are concerned. I definitely uh, wouldn't do anything too uh, dangerous or anything like that. And if I'm ever staying up late, I always make sure that I'm not going to be like driving or operating heavy machinery for some reason. Um, I try to keep it pretty, pretty safe. But yeah, it all comes back to this thing where it's like, at one point I said, you know, I have all this time or I don't even have time. I, I specifically didn't have time, but I was like, if I don't try to do this now, where I have like this opportunity to make a Twitch channel, you know, my future self would never forgive me. Like that was my my only like motivation thing for myself where I was like, I, I just have to do, I have to do whatever I can to make this happen because I would never forgive myself. 
if if I had like this opportunity and I didn't didn't do something with it. And that usually keeps me going. All right. We didn't really get much out of that redness. Maybe it'll show up uh, once the rest of it's filled in. What if we give the back of it like more of a brown look instead of like the golden color of the wrist? Sorry if I get to everyone's comments a little bit late, but uh, when I do these streams, I don't have my like efficient setup where the, you know, the second monitor is right next to my head and I can glance at it to look at comments and stuff. It's uh, a little bit less well tuned. Plus you obviously have to be looking directly at the paper all the time to do the artwork. But hopefully you still are enjoying the program. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like, that's cool. Okay, so it's kind of like a little wooden border or something around the gold crest. I like that. So what does everyone have planned for this? Is today Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Anything fun? Okay, get that there. This is definitely also going to be dark in the background. I don't know how I'm going to differentiate that piece. Maybe I just won't. Seven and a half hours of work, then home to play KH3, work my friend's pick. Don't know which one. Guess it would depend on what day I have at work. Nice. I am looking forward to playing KH3 for sure. I'm excited to go back home and play uh, Dream Job Distance. I'm liking that game a lot. Get a little bit of this kind of like sienna color.
Ross is enjoying the game. That's good to hear. It's definitely good to hear. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm glad that that I uh, am not starting the series now because it would have been really hard to to go through like knowing how much people are enjoying the new one. I'm glad that we at least, you know, even though I'm late on actually getting through to the new one, at least we're so far into it that it's like, you know, I'm kind of like already invested. It would be hard to, uh, to start them at this moment. But still, even with that, like, it's just, it's good that there's more Kingdom Hearts out there. It is exciting. Oh yeah, Frost saying getting our post one of those story so far videos. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, uh, if you've already played them, to be like, all right, let me go play them again and remember what what happened. It's not like if you need to watch, you know, the second Black Panther, and then you're like, let me watch Black Panther 1, just remember what happened. It's uh, a lot more involved than that. Ross hated the one with the cards. Yeah, that one's kind of, it's tough, but I, I actually really enjoyed it. I think it's worth a shot. And it's cool that, you know, clearly the, the developers found a lot of uh, value in the card stuff because they kept trying to implement it in other games. Like, Birth by Sleep has a major card mechanic that came from that, uh, Dream Job Distance literally uses the uh, a lot of the mechanics from actually from Chain of Memories in that like Pokemon battling system. Like it, they basically just put that the exact game of uh, of Chain in that Pokemon thing, which I think is really really cool. And it's nice that it's not the main attraction because it definitely is hard to. Uh, to reconcile when it's the only thing you're doing. But yeah, I would say if you're ever bored and you're you're looking to play another Kingdom Hearts that you haven't uh, played, it's a good one. Once you get uh, the hang of it, I guess. Yeah, I'm not super interested in the way that this turned out. The, the Hogwarts logo doesn't look that cool to me. But that's okay. I'm not sure what I would have done differently. Get some brown in there. I like the look of this wooden border more than I like the actual golden crest. Maybe I should kind of mute the rest of it. Make it feel like the whole thing is wood. Her was saying, I think Shroomy fell asleep. Well, he deserves some sleep. Certainly deserves some sleep. Let's get it shaded from both sides here. (laughs) 
So I'm just basically making this like kind of nondescript, I guess. Dragon Wolf, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Dragon Wolf. Just in time to see the picture be done. We're, we're just putting in the Hogwarts crest right now. And then we're done with this picture. Hmm. What if we put like a wood grain on it? Get some red in here. Dragon Ball saying looks like almost time for some new pencils. Yeah, I ended up uh, going to the store and getting a second set for whenever I run out on certain pencils. One of them is so short that I had to stick some some tissue paper into the, you know, because it's like a pencil case that you can see that it, it holds them all like this. Um, I had to stick some tissue paper into the hole so that it won't be so short that you can't get it back out. That's this one, the brown one. All right, guys, I think that is gonna do it. Get a little bit of gold coming out of here. Whew. I think that's it. Let's zoom out on this baby. Will it not let me? There we go. It turned out pretty okay. Turned out pretty okay. I'm, I'm glad that we got to do one where it's the full scene. I was kind of dreading doing these. Um, yeah, let's zoom into some of these parts. We could take like a quick look through it. Ron and McGonagall, I think, turned out okay. They, uh, you know, I'm always scared to do like the skin tones and stuff and, and the subtlety that's required to do skin tones because obviously you can go way overboard with it. Um, so I was happy about that. The crest, 
ended up okay. It, it kind of fades into the background a little bit, but you know, it's not really the highlight of the scene. You know, it's not supposed to be taking up the, the real estate of the, of the picture. It's, it's not the focus. So I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it looks on its own. And it's, it kind of is, uh, its own little thing. We got Ron's uh, robe, which I'm, this part I'm pretty excited about because, or I was, you know, I'm still am, I guess, but it's the idea that for first year robes it is like a concept design that I came up with where like they would be lined with every house color because you don't, when you're a first year year, you don't know what color robe you're supposed to have because you don't know what house you're in. So, uh, you know, when you buy your first year robes, they would have all the colors. Or maybe even when you buy your robes, they would have all the colors. And then once the sorting hat, maybe there's some kind of magical element in the sorting hat that, you know, makes it change the lining of the robe to whatever color house you're in, which I, I thought that was a fun little thing. So the, the sleeves and the, and the edge of the robe are hemmed with that color. And also the inside of the, the hood is like that. Um, I really enjoyed, this was one of the last things we did. I don't know if I can really show it in the close-up. It's going to be all askew. But the, well, I'll just zoom out. The, uh, the heads of these kids in the, in the extreme foreground are, uh, I like the way that they turned out. They're obviously not like, they didn't take me that long. They're not detailed, really. Uh, even the one that's a face is kind of like, I did a bunch of detail and then like kind of shaded over it because they're supposed to be backlit and it, it all kind of contributes to this thing where I was trying, this is the first one of these pictures where we were trying to actually give it like uh, a lighting scheme that takes place within a scene. So everything kind of points back to like this, at this and like other unseen candles being like a key light so that they sort of, you know, some of the parts, like his face, I didn't do that much. I didn't want to like harshly shade it or anything, but like there's at least kind of a concept of like the light coming from here and then hitting, you can see it hitting the corner of the page and it hits the side of McGonagall and her hat and everything and uh, hits the sides of Ron's hat and the little tip of his pants there. And then it obviously hits really hard on the edge of their faces. And because the key light is back here this part is obviously really dark there's not any detail in this part which of course also contributes to not taking away you know obviously if we perfectly like did these kids faces and they were light it would it would feel very flat so i i kind of look the i like the effect that that we got with that and yeah you can see closer up the uh the rim lighting on mcgonagall's hat which again i'm pretty happy about and like the the edge of her her uh, body and stuff. So I'm happy with this. I, we did a lot of stuff on the, this one that I haven't done on these pictures yet. Um, so I'm happy. Mercury Chicken. It's got to take a lot of patience to do this. Yeah. These, uh, these ones are taking a while. You know, there's a lot of pages in this art book. And there's a lot of other really detailed pictures. Some of these are pretty incredibly detailed. Some of these are more graphical. I might use markers for some of them, some of the more graphic ones. Um, but yeah, there's plenty more. St oh, that's really cool. Is that the, what even is that? B? Oh, Bobaton's logo, maybe? Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go through here. And I'm excited. You know, this is kind of just like an ongoing thing that we're able to do in the, uh, for the uh, out of town streams, because obviously, it's nice to have something to do and not have to buy, you know, a million things to get it set up. You know, originally I was trying to like bring my switch and plug it into a hotel TV and get a splitter and use a laptop. And it's, it's too much, you know, it's, uh, or at least for me, it was, I, it, you can't rely on the hotel Wi-Fi. You can't rely on a lot of the things. So I figure why fight it? Like, let's do a different kind of stream. And it allows me to do, you know, I, I went to school for a little while. Well, a lot of my life actually I had trained in in doing different kinds of artwork so not to say that I'm you know that good at it but I like to I like to do it and I don't really get a lot of chances to do it so I 
I think this is a fun way to do that uh, and to, to bring back some of my artistic uh, side. So we got this one. We're, we're kind of doing some pages in a cluster now because we have the, uh, the Hedwig picture. This is going to be a crazy Hedwig picture as well with Harry uh, in, I guess, going into his final year or whatever. Then we have this Hedwig picture that we did first, which I kind of still, on some level, like the best out of all the pictures. We have this uh, Ron McGonagall scene, which certainly the most complex one that we've done. We have this one. These are, yeah, these are all pages in a row on the right side of the page. That's cool. I, I really am looking forward to doing this Dumbledore one as well, where he, him and baby Harry, that's a pretty cool one. And this is also an opportunity for some pretty really harsh lighting because you can see the lamp is right next to his head so that's going to be like extremely that's going to be an extreme lighting scheme that i'm kind of excited about um we have this one of fluffy which it, i like the way it turned out but it it kind of just ended up being very uh you know there's there was a lot of like shadow and and subtlety in there but then when i you know end up going through it 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 sort of ends up looking very brown so that's most of the reason that this pencil is this size. So I'm, I like it, but I, I, I think that one was pretty rough to, to go through. And then we did this Harry and Draco one. And I think this is the last one that we, oh, no, no, we have one more. We did this Harry and Draco one, which I like. I, this was the, the most complex one that I did before we did that uh, sorting hat scene. And then we did this one, the only one that I've done on the left side so far, which is a concept design for Buckbeak, which I, I also really like uh, the look of that. And I like that we got the the uh, hourglass thing in there, the time turner. So um, yeah, that's what we got so far. There's plenty more to go though. So next episode, we'll be choosing where uh, to go next. And that'll be fun. But until then, guys, that's going to do it for the stream. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. We finished a picture. Get some hype in that chat, too. We're done with another page. What is that, five pages that we've done now? Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, so, guys, we're going to raid at the end of this. Stay tuned for that if you want to be a part of the raid. If you don't know the channel, though, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, so I don't talk over story or cutscenes, but I do request no gameplay or storyline information or hints. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, type exclamation mark games. You'll get a full list of all the uh, stuff happening on the channel, including uh, many of the big gameplay series that we're doing. So there's 10 concurrent gameplay series going right now. Um, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. It should be up here somewhere as a follower goal of four. And we're currently at two, so we're doing great, guys. Also, if you yourself are looking to get into Twitch streaming and you um, maybe you don't know where to start, you want to find the motivation, something like that, or if you have a channel already and you want to really optimize the stuff that you're doing, make sure that you're getting the most out of Twitch, check out the Twitch Playbook. It's a free online resource that I created to help you live out your Twitch streaming dreams. So give that a look, twitchplaybook.com, or you can go to exclamation mark playbook in the chat. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff on there. There's six entries so far. They come out every Friday. It's both a blog and a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. If you like the channel, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on the channel, including the Voice of Nick emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. Subs also get the sub badge and access to the sub movie night. Um, another... Great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have nobody. They've completely reset, but thank you to everybody who donates on the channel. It's very much appreciated. On the cheerleader boards on this uh, fine Tuesday morning, we already have the cheerleader boards uh, with three people on them. So Little Rock is in third place with 16 cheer. Thank you to Little Rock. Second place is Hey Hi Samantha with 50 cheer. Thank you to Hey Hi Samantha. And first place is Graugmaster, Graugmaster Sins with 1,000 cheer. That's a teal level cheer. Thank you to Graugmaster Sins. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It's highly appreciated and it directly helps the shows to get better. Every single day, I try to improve at least one thing about the family of channels, whether that's the Twitch streams that you see here, whether it's behind the scenes, whether it's setting up and, and acquiring new games, 
whether it is uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter stuff, improving those or, or making content for them, whether it's doing stuff on the Discord, writing Twitch playbook entries or recording the podcast, all that stuff is in large part thanks to you guys for supporting the stream. So thank you to everybody who does that. Now, uh, let's see if we can find another game being played on Twitch. So we'll take a look through some of the games that we've previously done. The way that we do raids on this channel is that we uh, typically do, um, we check out people who are playing games that we've previously played so as not to spoil any games that we're currently playing through or any games that we plan on playing on the channel. So definitely um, a little bit different, but I think we found some really great channels by, uh, by doing this. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's take a look through some of this stuff. Uh-huh. I think we know this person. Or not. We don't know this person, but maybe we could jump into this stream. Ah, yeah, let's take a look through this one. We do know this person. So we're going to jump into a stream with Majin Sweet, who is a, uh, a Souls streamer, very skilled uh, Souls kind of speedrunner and challenge run player. Majin Sweet is doing another of his really insane Souls challenge runs. It looks like it's a Souls level one, no block, no parry, no magic, no roll run. So I, I don't even know how that even works or what you can do in a run like that. But let's go take a look, guys, and make sure you say hi to Majin Sweet. Very fun streamer, really engaging. I don't know how he reads so many comments while also doing such extremely high skill uh, play, uh, but you'll see you'll see what it's like when you get in there. If you don't know Majin Sweet, I recommend hitting that follow button. Uh, so we're going to jump into that raid. When we do that, guys, make sure you post some emotes. It not only helps our channel, but it also lets the streamer know who's coming in with the raid. Very important to uh, do. So you can see a couple of pre-made sets of emotes there. There's the subscriber exclusives on the bottom, which is have the voice of Nick TV head. Uh, it's a great one to do if you're a subscriber. Or the other ones, the hype emotes are what we use for raids. The referee is in there, the fire, the hearts, the cats with sunglasses, all sorts of stuff that you need to get the party going. So whichever one you choose to copy, make sure you copy one of those down before we get into the raid. It, um, it won't be there once the raid starts, so make sure you copy it now. And... Uh, if you want to copy that on computer, you can just select and press copy. If you're on the phone, you can actually hold press on the, the set of emotes and press the copy button. Very easy to do. So I'm going to uh, jump into Majin Sweet's channel then, guys. And thank you to everybody who joined, uh, not only on today's episode, but on the Harry Potter coloring book in general, and especially this project. This has been a big undertaking for me. It's kind of scary. Appreciate you guys coming along on the ride and being a part of this. So thank you everybody for the support. And now let's jump into Majin Sweet stream and enjoy some really extremely skilled Dark Souls play that you certainly will not see on my channel when I'm playing Dark Souls 2. But maybe I'll get there one day. Guys, thank you for joining the show. Bye bye. Dark Souls 2, you know what on Dragon Shrine? 